KTM 390 Duke has been doing rounds of spark shots and rumors for heaps of days. Now after getting ourselves behind it, had finally shown the birth. Thoughtfully, we took the test ride of 390 from Pune to Mumbai. Hence, the bike was driven on a number of terrain with putting its strength to a toiling test and the result is in front of us. Though the Duke is a naked street bike and reveals all its nicks on the outer clearly, we like the way it's been designed and presented to us. Its ergonomics, driving stance, saddle, handlebar, foot pegs and lot more had enticed us a lot. The major attraction of the bike was believed to be its mass centralization of weight. Putting facts to the proven track, it's also the steel trellis frame which has held the engine and its relative component tight in a place. Making one known, the 375cc engine of the bike feels slightly larger than the ergonomics. But truly, we call it a beast underneath the sophisticated yet devilish skin. Reportedly, the orange paint job on the alloys and the frame are said to be differentiating it from the younger sibling, Duke 200. However, metal tyres on both the wheels are proving great protagonist of practicality. Hence, the same had also reduced braking distance by several metres. We guess the engineers at the back end had proven worthy amount of efforts in developing this bike. To in addition, the standard ABS system of bike is also peak perfect. Commenting over that, we would like to say they come to use for a mere amount of time as Metzler tyres keeps on burning itself hard and safeguarding us at the risky movement. Significantly, twisting out the turns is the best part of the stunt doing on this bike. We bet no other bike in the segment would offer such perfectly carved out swings. Additionally, the mass centralization also helps in maintaining balance at some of the movements. But despite that, those fine touches to the bike makes the ergonomics of sports bike to shine upon. Cosmetically, we don't have complaints about the Duke 390. But yes, the seats are quite hard for long distances. To an addition, in technical drawbacks, the feel at the rider's position is tentatively steamy too. Hence, the bike maker should take immediate response regarding the set couple of nags. Technically, 390 has 44 horsepower in its belly. But speaking truth, there aren't enough roads in India for it except both international circuit to unleash the whole power at a stance. Disappointingly, we touched the maximum of 120 km per hour in the initial shifting stance of 4th gear, but as proper, there were still a couple of gears to touching the total 6. In fact, returns on fuel shall not be looked greatly on the elder Duke. It's because when looking at its DNA as being comparable to some of the niche in industry, on the instance, we would like to comment a whooping 22 km per litre was given to us in a mix of city and highways. Overall, taking results, the Duke 390 is a fair combination of sports and practicality. Hence, we give it a hard touching 9 out of 10 for roosting our test in the best possible temp. Meanwhile, looking at its price, none of them feel softly placed in the Indian biking fraternity other than the Duke 390.